Colorado finds itself smack dab in the middle of one of the craziest elections this country has ever seen. Several big headlines tonight. Who won't be our next Secretary of State? Russian hackers accused of helping get Trump elected. And three Colorado electors go to court and willing to go to jail because they want to change their vote. Mark Stewart's live at the Capitol tonight. Mark, this is getting interesting. Shannon, this is unprecedented. We are truly entering uncharted waters here at the state capitol. When the Electoral College meets one week from today, electors could choose to follow the will of the people, or some could go off on their own and basically stage a revolt. Leaving federal court, Colorado electors Polly Baca and Robert Nemenich could face a fine, even time behind bars, if they defy state law, requiring them to vote for the candidate selected by the majority of Colorado. Here's their attorney. Are they willing to go to jail? Are they willing to face the consequences? Just like conscientious objectors during the Vietnam War, just like uh, the sit ins during the civil rights movement, sometimes people feel the need and the ability to risk personal liberty in order for a greater cause. These two electors don't want Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton to be president. Their idea votes someone else, anybody but Trump. So they asked a judge to temporarily quash a Colorado law that requires them to vote the way the state votes. The judge said no, saying there's an expectation the Electoral College will reflect the pick of the voters. I think Colorado law was written with the presumption that people would follow the law. That you wouldn't have people seek to abrogate Colorado voters' votes with their own personal desires. But these two electors aren't the only ones threatening to go rogue. If going to jail is necessary, I will do it. Elector Michael Baca isn't part of this court case. He's part of a separate national effort questioning Trump's fitness to serve. You know, I'm a former United States Marine. Uh, this isn't uh, about the party. This is about my country. Uh, I am putting my country above my party and above my personal risks. There are so many unknowns, so many lingering questions. For example, if an elector chooses to defy the will of the people, could they really be thrown in jail as the law states? And is it possible for these electors who have expressed reservations to be replaced before the Electoral College meets next Monday? Some of the questions facing a district court judge tomorrow. We're live at the state capitol tonight. Mark Stewart, Denver 7. Wow, never seen anything like that.